wanted to show you this stool which I found the other day this is a hazel and it's got various things that are interesting about it first thing is here this is ivy which you've talked about before but this is honeysuckle can't remember the latin name Lanicera. anyway it has a slightly different strategy to getting the same result as ivy wants so ivy's a commensal and it basically runs up the tree to get up into the light but it tends to stay underneath the canopy it does most of its growth in the winter whereas honeysuckle is deciduous see this one's been cut off with a chainsaw and it tends not to stick itself onto the trunk with adventitious roots which ivy does and it sticks quite hard oh, here we go if we look here these are the adventitious roots and basically an adventitious root is a root put out by a stem rather than from the base of the stem the base of the plant and as you can see here they don't penetrate the bark they just stick very well to it see again the honeysuckle doesn't do that you can see from the twisted shape of it, it tends to twine around it tends to grow in a spiral, twine around the trunk and drag itself up towards the top in any way it can. Up there it's twining around itself. And if we move back without falling over, we can see that up here, right, this is GoPro so it hasn't got a zoom, it's twined so tightly around the, the trunk there that the trunk has swollen above where the ivy, the sorry, honeysuckle stem is. And on young coppice, that can produce deformed shoots, which end up with quite a nice feature around them. You can see it happening here. This is honeysuckle. These are the leaves, come out really early. And you can see there it's twined around the the stem and that may, might, might make a nice walking stick with almost a barley sugar twist on it and over here we have an example of why I do directional felling and why I use rope assist because it saves effort and time someone's just cut through these they cut through this fairly high this is about head height which is not recommended on any chainsaw course you go on. They split it. You can see this. And this one down here. You cut it, split it, probably got the saw stuck. Managed to work the saw out. And then because the top is hung up in there and it's well hung up, they thought, oh sod it, I've gone on to do something else. So if it was me, I would have put a rope up this one, assuming it's on this side of this stem, which it might not be. What it looks like might have happened is this is on that side of this stem, this is on this side, the right hand side. So I'd be tempted to cut this off at the base. And then when this one's free, put a rope up high, see the masses at the back. So you put a rope up in that fork cut it at the base, pull it over this way, and then do this one. I really don't like to work hard. So that's why I do directional felling. And this is honeysuckle. Honeysuckle's really nice. It can be an ancient woodland indicator. That's the native honeysuckle. There are various non-natives and garden varieties that sometimes find their way into woods. But like some of the other climbers, like Old Man's Beard, which we haven't really got in this wood, even though we're on the chalk, and ivy, it tends to form this sort of thing. 
sort of aerial runways between hazel stools and this is what the native dormouse likes. Likes to be able to run between stools and to forage fruits, nuts, nectar sometimes, maybe insects. It likes to run between uh, stools without touching the ground but there are none in this wood. I've certainly seen those signs. So, ropes and climbers. Thank you very much.